Hello, I'm Joe DuPont, and I want to comment on the recent rescue of Captain Phillips, of the, uh, who was captured by pirates on the high seas. And I think there's something really wrong with this whole picture, and the media really doesn't seem to care. Back in 1985, uh, Mr. Klinghoffer, who was on the Achille Loro, uh, was killed by four heavily armed terrorists representing the Palestine Liberation Front. Uh, they hijacked the Italian cruise ship, the Achille Loro, with some 100 mostly elderly passengers on board, in Egyptian waters. The hijackers demanded that the Israelis free 50 Palestinian prisoners, and to prove their determination, they shot and killed a disabled American tourist, 69-year-old Leon Klinghoffer, and threw his body overboard with his wheelchair. After a two-day drama, the Egyptian government, unaware of Klinghoffer had been murdered, provided the hijackers with a safe passage in exchange for freeing the ship and the passengers. Well, the plane was forced down and everybody went to justice. But the point is we haven't learned a damn thing, have we? As I mentioned in a previous uh, YouTube about uh, Captain Phillips, this gentleman tried to escape because of gunfire, he was forced to stop his uh, escape. But the point of the matter is, is that he should have been covered back then by sharpshooters, and there should have been a plan uh, in effect. The good news is he got, he got away. He is safe. But this could happen again and again, and it's happening again and again because these boats don't have any weapons on board. In the same region where Captain Phillips was kidnapped, hijacked, whatever. There have been several boats that have been under attack by these same Somalian um, pirates. And it just so happens that in, 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 in the case of the big uh, vessels, uh, the, the, they were able to use water cannons, and they, they call something an acoustical type of um, weapon, and um, they didn't take uh, these major passenger ships. But the fact of the matter is, anybody who goes on a passenger ship is crazy because apparently they can't defend the passengers from a, a, a similar attack, let's say like the, the uh, Klinghopper situation. So something is really, really wrong and I'm wondering where the NRA is, National Rifle Association, is on talking about this. This is, what, this is what the world wants. They want to disarm all the citizens. And so what, what's happened on these boats, they want to happen in our houses. After 9-11, where terrorists took four planes and commandeered them and um, killed everybody, um, there was a movement to get guns in the cabins of the cockpit. And um, so far, this really hasn't been done to any great extent because someone is stopping it. But if they can put a gun in the hands of the captain of, of an airliner, why can't they put guns in the hands of the captains of ocean liners where there's thousands of people on board? All you have to do is land a helicopter full of terrorists on, on a, on a uh, cruise ship and, and you can take out the whole cruise ship because, in theory, there's no guns on board. Wonderful. It's like one of these safe gun zones where there's no guns. That's where the highest crime rates are. Wonderful. There are many, many super large, super cruise ships that carry thousands and thousands of people and have a lot of crew members. And it seems to me that Anybody who would travel on one of these cruise ships has to be insane if they know, and they should know by now, that apparently the captain does not have access to any weapons to defend the ship, either from crazy um, crew members or, or from pirates boarding the damn boats. And you don't know what the motives are. It might just be for money or it might be to send a message to kill as many people as they can. It would be very easy to crash land a helicopter on one of these boats and commence on killing thousands of people and destroying the boats. These people are willing to sacrifice their lives to kill people.
So why can't we as human beings have the will to live and demand that these cruise ships carry weapons to fend off an attack? And also, we have to contact the NRA and tell them to, to uh, basically bring up this issue because this is, this is the world community apparently saying no guns on boats. If they do that, they're going to do this to us. They're going to stop Americans from having guns in their, their, their homes, just like they did with the boats. It will be an international edict. And this is happening, and it's happening right before us. So I suggest that you really, really start faxing the NRA, asking them to speak up. They never spoke up on that movie Signs where there was a farm and there was no gun on the farm. This was a Mel Gibson movie, and that's the reason why I stopped belonging to the NRA. I, I belong to them now, but I was really upset with the NRA. They were afraid to take a stand, and this is another stand. They should be using this whole pirate hijacking of, of boats because the boats don't have guns, and say, this is what happens. This is what happens.